What up, Venice John? It's your boy, IBS Kelso, and today's video is really going to be harping on the biggest change or biggest update for Beta 19 and, and what it means in the physics of the game now. So they changed the lean from the back wheel to the front wheel, or at least uh, your leaning in general is from the back to the front. And what this basically means is if you ever watched any of your you know amazing YouTubers that you watch and you ever see controller overlays, everybody with their right stick leans back in cornering. Right? And they said you're going to be really experiencing this in your cornering to where you're, you're, it's going to feel a little weird. And what that means is if you ever ride in real life, you'll understand that when you go through a corner, you're never putting all your weight in the back of the wheel. You're putting your weight to the front of the wheel because that, that front wheel needs to be stable and have stability through a rut in order to make you uh, have a clean transition. You never see anybody riding in the back of their bike. Dude, you're just going to freaking literally loop out or literally have that front end stable, right? You want to put as much weight and pressure on that front tire to get you through, and that's why everybody's up on their fuel tank. And I think that's why the new OEM or the OEM team has been waiting for this update to drop because you can see it, and I'm going to show you these two videos, that how much weight you need to apply to this front brake and how much less weight there is on the back wheel now which is allowing more torque and allow more slip out. I'll show you this first one of showing how they're gonna, how they're using the back rear and actually controlling it and how much he's on that fuel tank. Good throttle control. It was good throttle control and it's because you can obviously see that he's not trying to spin that back wheel. If you ever try to go through a corner trying to go full, full pin, you will slide out. You know, you got to make sure you have the traction. And even if you try to do it, you're going to do a spin, right? So we'll go again. Putting full weight on that front tire. And then finally going through. Now, obviously, it was a little bit over-exaggerated in this video. You could probably even get more throttle control out of that. Maybe even leaning tighter on that, on that fuel tank. Let's watch the second video when you slide out and you're still leaning on the front. Even on the tire, even on that front tire, he's still spinning out. So throttle control is a big thing. Even when you do this in real life, you can see yourself spinning out. I know Hunter Lawrence does this a lot. Um, he literally gets back on that gas so quick, and you can see how far he slides out before he starts gaining traction. Show it one more time. And I think this is the huge change that the OEM team was waiting to happen. They needed the game physics to change from the back wheel to the front wheel. And you guys will notice as well a lot. I think a lot of people are saying that they wheelie um, a lot in this game. Now, through corners and stuff, um, or when it, wheeling out, it's because you're so much torque and there's not that, all that weight on the back of the bike that you need to stabilize the bike and actually get more on the front wheel. You guys ever see people when they start twisting the grip, they're not in the back of the bike. You're going to loop out. You need to put that pressure on the front tire. All right, so I set a marker here. Uh, I'm just going to do, um, I'm going to try to do a lap around with you know regularly leaning back um through it and just see how much how much more i guess my front end is less stable do stuff i'm obviously going to try to ride to the best of my ability and just see how much more this uh front end gets a little wonky on me not going to obviously try to mess up on purpose i want to really try i want to see the difference and this is all leaning back unfortunately i can't show you my controller overlay whatever my overlay was doesn't exist anymore i guess they said what this is all leaning on the back end. Obviously, real tight corner, you don't want to lean like that on the back end, but this is all back end right here. I guess I'm just trying to see how much more um, unstable this... unstable the front end gets to me as I'm starting to ride and how less I can turn the bike. A lot of people are saying... That, yeah, you see that wheelie effect? You got to put way more pressure on that front wheel. A lot of people are saying that they... Um, Needed to change their lean settings or gain and all that. I personally don't think I need to change anything off that. I haven't, realistically. Um, all I see is that the front end is a l literally more wobbly. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's just very wobbly, if that makes any sense. Um, it's very less stable unless you put more weight on it. Because they did change. They did change it, you know what I mean? From that back wheel to the front wheel. So obviously, if you're not applying that pressure to certain spots, you're obviously going to get some weird physics or a little less stability in that front wheel. You just see it's wanting to turn. It's not really a huge difference right now, but I, it's not about these bikes that's going to be the difference. It's going to be when the OEM team drops their update. That is the biggest change, right? We're just getting prepared for what's to come, and these these bikes are still kind of prone to the 18-point J, you know? We've got the full update, but when those bikes come in, we'll, we'll really see it. 
All right, so now I'm gonna try a lap here, leaning forward on the bike, putting more pressure on that front wheel. Just trying to see, um, obviously it creates more of a bar drag, especially as you lean forward, you're gonna see yourself clip your bars more. So it's probably just something you gotta get used to. Or once again, I mean, we're really not preparing ourselves. I guess we're testing the best to understand the physics, but nothing's the ultimate test until the new OEM bikes drop. You know, um, that's where the this, I guess this game update is really gonna matter. And that's why they were waiting for so long is because all that front wheel, they, they needed the weight to push to the front wheel in order for them to cause that amazing effect of dropping, or I guess putting more torque to that back wheel and not having so much weight on that back wheel. Um, now you gotta start really applying that front wheel. So I don't think you're gonna really see any big drastic changes now, whether you pull back or forward. I think in some, some cases and scenarios, pulling completely back you can see yourself not turn as much and i think that's just because the weight's not all the way in the back of the wheel and you're you're stabilized you probably be more stable going forward but i do think it's going to be a drastic change when the oem team drops their bikes right now i'm kind of just practicing to show it i also want to try a good massive hill i do want to go back to paula and explain that um, I, I don't have any footage to show you of like how bad that hill was before <laughs> Before this update, but I do say the hill physics have changed in, a, in the better and less for the worse But applying this pressure on the front wheel feels absolutely demon Like instead of pulling back pulling forward just stable, you know, obviously other than the The bars dragging but let's go over to Paula so coming up on Paula's Hill, uh, a lot of people will tell you that right now that this this hill has literally had the worst physics trying to come up it, just bad stuff, especially on this left side. That's completely gone. I don't know if you've seen that. Like that was like literally amazing. Before you would literally try to go up that and the front end would literally just wobble and you would get a weird kicker up top. You know what I mean? That's gone. Like I, I'll even show you it again, dude. I, I'll go backward. I'll go on the back wheel and front wheel. I, I was on the front wheel that time. That's back wheel right there. Nothing. I mean, literally just getting sent. Obviously, you can whip it and scrub it. And then I'll show a little bit on the front wheel as well. But I think Beta 19 has definitely fixed it. Definitely has fixed the uphill physics. Front wheel. Just amazing, dude. Holy smokes. I gotta love it, man. I mean, they have definitely been... It's been like a year? A year before we've gotten an update on this game? Absolutely insane, man. I'm, I'm super happy, and I'm super happy to see what comes with the... New OEM, you know, a beta 19 or bikes, you know, that's going to be the ultimate test. Now, Lakewood this year was definitely an RNG kind of spot down that hill. Um, it was either you got really bad, you know, physics or you got really good physics. So I'm really curious to see what's the change there. Mike feels really planted in these ruts, especially. I don't know. I don't know how many times I got to say it, but I'm going to stop beating a dead horse. But towards the front of the wheel is definitely keeping a lot of pressure and applying a lot of weight, which keeps that front end stable. Yeah, whips feel absolutely freaking amazing, dude. Nice. Scrub. Yeah, I don't know, man. That's pretty nice. This feels awesome. I feel like I just have more stability leaning forward now. Like, instead of weird physics or, like, slowing my bike down a lot, like... I just think like the front end is so stable, dude. It's it's pretty awesome. I don't know. That's what I have learned. I mean, I might be fibbing, dude. People might be like, yo, I don't know what you're talking about, but I do say like, I'm not gonna be leaning back as much. I do I do honestly say that you you just can't turn the bike anymore. And a lot of people are trying to change their, get their settings to adjust to it. And I just think you don't have to change your settings like at all. I think you just gotta change the, your, your riding style because of the game. All right, let me see this, what, what this looks like. That ah, was so much mo smoother. I feel like the bike just reacted so much better before, dude. Weird kickers, bad bike, physics. I don't know. I like it. This right here, Lakewood, was a really hard track to really try to get down like full lap without crashing over and over and over again. But man, holy smokes, dude. Yeah, just literally stability, man literally stable so i don't really i really don't want to show any more of leaning back it's just not it anymore to me at my front end does not move at all front front stability 
And I'm actually flowing now, dude. What the chicken bone? Now, I'm not saying that you can't lean back anymore, right? I'm not saying you can't lean back or anything like that. Just pick and choose where you need to lean back. I know in corners, I'm not leaning back anymore. Especially coming out of the corner, I'm either going neutral body position or staying a little bit tighter just because there's less weight on that back wheel. And the back wheel is what's going to keep that torque driving. And that's what we're going to really have to prepare for in this next OEM update or bike update. All right, last little bit is here at Nationals. I just want to go up this back hill. This really fun uh, Hangtown Hill. Um, and I, I think realistically, I want to try it going on my back wheel first and then my front wheel just to see the, the stability in the front tire. Look how much is wobbling. That thing is unstable as heck, dude. I'm not saying you're going to crash. You can just see how unstable it is, right? And I don't I don't think you're going to get really bad uphill physics with that with that wobble. You know what I mean? And I don't think you're going to crash off of it either. But you could see how much less stable or I, uh, how unstable it was. Like it was just starting to shake. You know what I mean? I was literally just holding my analog stick straight forward. Now I want to lean back in this corner as well because this is a pretty nice corner to actually try to lean back and show. I don't know. I just... I feel like the exit was bad. I feel like the exit was bad to where it's like the bike just kept turning and I just really couldn't adjust in a, in, in a timely manner. Look what this inside looks like. That felt good. Holy smokes, that felt really good. I want to try this railing outside corner. This this track is really good to understand. Oh, I was pulling back. I was pulling back through all of that. But it could have just been bad, bad braking bumps. But this corner right here is huge as well. It didn't feel too bad though. That was all. That was all pulling back. So I think it just kind of picks and chooses, or really just where you feel comfortable at in the on the track, to where you know where you can pull back and just go wide open and stay wicked. But I do think front end, leaning more on your front end or standing in it, standing in a neutral body position is going to be better than fully lean back at times. Just just all depends on where you are on the track. Obviously, if you're trying to get fully fully dialed in, whole shot device, all that jazz, you're going to be pulling back. And go crazy but we'll see i will say the front end is more stable when you do lean forward i feel like i've beaten a dead horse in that in this video with that but i, I guess i kind of want you guys to get that muscle memory or hear me saying it that way when you go try it you know and i might be completely fibbing i'm nobody really to uh i guess watch guys thank you for watching i greatly appreciate it. this is gonna be the end of the video i just wanted to show you guys a few laps and show you the difference from like what I'm trying to explain. And I'm not saying right now this is going to be the biggest thing for these bikes. It's going to be for the like what to expect for the next upcoming bikes. Like this is what the changes are going to feel like completely for you guys. So yeah, man, work on it. Expect expectations. Um, I might be completely wrong, but I do think that's where the direction it's going from the early beginning of this video. And if you guys really want to choose anything like that, and if it actually happens like that, I've got the advantage. I know exactly what I need to work on. So easy peasy. Thank you guys for clicking on the video, and I will catch you guys in the next one. It's your boy, IBS Kelso. Bye.